What's up guys, it's Richard from Clash with RLF and today I was going to do a war recap showing both Town Hall, a Town Hall 10 attack by Josh who just rejoined us, a great guy and a great player and um, DCU Fusion and Alex from Town Hall 9. So the reason why I was going to show you Josh's attack was he attacked a base that was sort of tricky for our clan. Um, Several people had attacked it and was able to get to Town Hall, but it was very hard to get the 50%. It's almost like a Western Eastern teaser with the Eastern side being a lot bigger, but getting 50% of this base seemed to be very tricky for us. Um, the edges are surrounded by Expos. I guess if you were trying to get extra point, you should get it from the West side, but it's a pretty well guarded base. So. Um, I was very happy that he did it. We really wanted this win. Even without the win, we were going to level up to seven, but leveling up as with a win was so much sweeter. So he comes with golems and wizards. So basically a go we like most of us, but he brings three jump spells and has a freeze and a rage and that may have been the key because most of us go in with four jumps and a rage because that's been pretty up for a lot of this more opened out laid out but on bases like this it's possibly uh, more important to freeze high on dps units like the tesla and the inferno tower and his golems go to the side which seems like it should be bad but it really isn't because the main thing is the he's able to get the town hall with the archer queen and the help of the wizard. So the wizard is going to go down, but the archer queen is still going to be able to use her ability and get the town hall. And then she's going to go on the side and help um, the golems. Uh, it's sort of important that she stays pretty healthy because, as you know, the golems aren't that strong. But he brings aside some wizards to help the golems on the side where it's not being targeted and gets the 50% and the two stars. So this really was sort of a tricky base because it is sort of a teaser base. But the location of the teaser, like on the eastern side, did not have a lot of units to help get the 50%. But in the end, it really didn't matter. He skillfully gets 64% um, and it was pretty 65% and it was an amazing attack. So great job, Josh. Um, then I was going to show you um, DCU Fusion's attack. Um, this is more of showing you how like a Town Hall 10 needs to do cleanup with Town Hall 9s and get the 3 star. He is a newly minted Town Hall 10, so he, you guys might remember all the Town Hall 9 attack he's been doing. And pretty much he's going in with the same army composition. So he has um, eight balloons to do the cleanup. Um, he has in his clan castle a max P.E.K.K.A. Uh, mainly because he already has max golems, so but he doesn't have max P.E.K.K.A. So taking in P.E.K.K.A. through the clan castle, he gets pretty much the same troops as most Town Hall 10s. He's trying to do a Town Hall 9.5, so uh, he uses... The poison spell, a heal spell, he still has a jump left, um, which he uses so his troops can go to the center. And he's going to start dropping the balloons. Um, I think he should have gone from the north, the side he did, and the opposite side because those sides are where there are no air defenses. Um, but. I do remember watching this live, and I think he was waiting for the, uh, he was going to get rid of the air defense here. Um, so at this point, I probably would have dropped it where the wizard tower is in the bottom, but it's okay. It doesn't really seem to matter because as long as you get the three star, there is no right or wrong way of doing this. Um, so maybe he was waiting for the archer towers to start attacking his golem so his balloons wouldn't take as much damage. And 
Balloons are so slow, but he had plenty of time left and his Archer Queen was still alive for the cleanup, so that really helps out a ton. And he has some wizards um, helping to do the sniping. So, and he has what? Six of the eight balloons still alive. Um, though those air bombs, bombs did take out a bunch. And so it was an easy three star. Um, we'll just speed that up. And that was a great job for DCU Fusion. And then the next one I was going to show is Alex. He's from Canada. He does MMA fighting, jujitsu style. He also has his own website, so you guys could check it out. He is one of the subscribers. And he does like a go wipe with witches. And uh, he was attacking something a little bit higher than him, which is pretty good. His heroes are not that high and he's attacking a base with higher heroes and so I like the way he attacks and that he goes from one side I'm not a huge fan of people especially in Town Hall 10, 9 of going from multiple directions or just an angle because it's really important to try to get that 3 star and he doesn't use the poison spell to get rid of the CC troops there has to use the king's ability um, but I guess he's still saving the poison he uses the poison on the enemy archer queen and let's see how that affects her or if that makes her any weaker um, maybe the wizard tower was getting a little weaker uh, two giant bombs good thing he didn't have hogs there and um, the Archer Queen seems to have gone down and the poison spell lasts a very long time so it seemed to last until she went down. Um, but they did have minions in the CC so it would have been easy to kill all the CC troops so I don't know what the stra which strategy would have worked better but like I said before it really doesn't matter as long as you get the 3 star there is no right or wrong way. Um, so he has some minions and archers sniping on the north side um, and he has witches two witches still alive making um, some skeletons and a golemite and an archer queen so this is unfortunately the sniping units going down and the archer tower is going to go down by the archer queen so then as long as um, the um, cannons are distracted by the skeletons it's really not going to be hard um, and it goes down so now pretty much it was a pretty easy three star for Alex great job um, I'm always amazed when our lower town hall tens are able to three star a higher town hall ten um, so this war was an excellent war for us we were really excited because we really wanted to win into town into a level seven clan even though we didn't really need the wind to do it and now as you can see in our current war we are a level 7 clan we did somebody in our group did try to change the badge into all pink but it was mentioned that we are a masculine clan so um, our leader accepted just the border for pink for the breast cancer awareness anyway I hope you like this video and if you do Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, I appreciate you watching my videos and hope to see you soon.